This is a requested video in which I will explain how to run C, C++ program in your Visual Studio code. So before starting this demonstration, let's quickly check the prerequisites. The first prerequisite is MinGW, which is a C, C++ compiler. So to learn how to install MinGW on Windows system, do refer to this card or the description box. The second prerequisite is the Visual Studio code itself. You can watch this video and install VS code in less than two minutes. Again, refer card or the description box. So yeah, that's it. That's all the prerequisite we need. Now let's check the hierarchy we have to follow. The first step in the hierarchy is to write your C, C++ program. I will be writing a simple hello world program in C and C++ both languages for demonstration. The second step is to build your program. We can build our C, C++ code in two ways. In the first way, I will type command by myself. And in the second way, we will use C, C++ extension from the Visual Studio code developed by Microsoft itself. And the third final step is to run your program. Let's quickly open Visual Studio code. This is the first screen. Here is the welcome page. Simply press Ctrl N to open a new blank file. Here I will be writing a simple hello world code for demonstration. Yes, now let's save it on the desktop and name it test underscore C dot C, hit enter. Yes, I can also see Visual Studio Code is recommending me a C extension, but let's close this for now. Now to run this code. Let's open terminal inside Visual Studio Code. Simply click terminal and new terminal. I can see it's a PowerShell. So let's go to desktop. Now this is a step in which I will build my C code. To build your C code, type gcc space hyphen o test underscore c space test underscore c dot c and hit enter all right if this doesn't return any warning or error this means your code is just fine now after running this let's quickly see what we have on our desktop directory yes you can see here test c dot c and one new file is created which is test c dot exe now we have to run this test c dot exe to run our c code the terminal here is the powershell so to run any exe in the powershell you have to write like this dot backward slash test c dot exe now hit enter and you can see here hello world if you are on command prompt you can directly write test underscore c dot exe and hit enter let's erase this for now and close our terminal Control n to open a new file and now let's write a c plus plus code Yes, now let's save this on the desktop, name it test underscore cpp dot cpp, hit enter. Now again open your terminal, go to desktop, 
Now to build your C++ code using GCC, we have to give a linking flag. So let's write GCC hyphen O space test underscore CPP space test underscore CPP dot CPP and give it a flag hyphen L S T D C plus plus. Hit enter. So yes, you can see this didn't give me any warning or error. This means my code is just perfect and successfully built. Now to run again, if you are in the command prompt, you can directly type test underscore CPP, but I'm using PowerShell for now. Let's add dot backward slash in the starting and dot exe and hit enter. Yes, you can see again. Hello world. So this is how you write your C C++ program built by yourself and run them. Now the second way to build your C C++ program is to use C C++ extension developed by Microsoft itself. Let's install C C++ extension in our Visual Studio code. So for this go to extension here this is button for extension or you can use a keyboard shortcut which is control shift x now search for c hyphen c plus plus extension download only extension provided by the microsoft click here this will look like this and click install. All right, my C C++ extension is downloaded now. Close this close. Now when you are using a C C++ extension to build your C C++ code. Visual Studio Code will create some extra files. For example, task.json in which it will write all the build related stuff. So it's a good practice to create a project folder and then create your CPP file. So I'm on my desktop currently. Let's create a new directory named CPP project and change our directory to this newly created directory and yes now you can use a visual studio code shortcut which is code dot this will open a new visual studio code window uh, with the project folder opened hit enter yes see here cpp project this mean my project folder is opened in this window so let's close previous window and full screen this all right now to create a new file in this project folder click here new file and give it a name like hello world.cpp hit enter since we have installed C C++ extension you may enjoy the intelligence let's quickly start writing our C++ code hash include I stream using name space std and main c out hello world from c++ project slash n yes 
and return zero so yeah control s to save your project so by now we have successfully written our c++ project file now the second step is to build this but before building this c++ project we have to configure our default build task for this go to terminal and click configure default build task and select this second option which says c c++ g++ dot exe build active file this will create task dot json for you in which all the build related stuff is pre-written now go back to your hello world dot cpp and now build this to build you can use a shortcut control shift p or click terminal and build task from here run build task click here executing task yes build finished successfully and we can see here hello world dot exe is created now let's run this exe click on new terminal yes and again i'm on my powershell so i will use dot backward slash hello world dot exe and hit enter hello world from c++ project so yeah by this you can simply build and run your c++ code so i hope this video will help you in building your c c++ projects give it a like and share with your batchmates also do subscribe to this channel